Hey guys, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Well, in the midst of this coronavirus mess that we're kind of all trying to avoid, um, a farmer's life must go on. So, yeah, that's where we're at today. We've been without chickens for a few weeks now, and we're getting ready to get them back. We still have a few days to go, but we do want to go ahead and get the houses set up because we have lots of things that we need to deal with. We need to deal with church things, whether to cancel, whether to go on, or, um, and then we just want a few days to just kind of take everything in. Um, oh, I bet that feed truck, I'm passing a feed truck, and I bet he just left our farm. Um, cause yeah, we're getting ready to get them back. So we were setting up houses today. Um, because like I said, we want a few days to just chill out before the birds come back and decide what to do with church and all kinds of things. So yeah, with that being said, there's another flu that we are trying to avoid as well. Um, in the poultry world, there is what you call the avian flu, and it is devastating to a flock of chickens. Some avian flu has been um, notated or spotted or found in some surrounding counties. So, not only are we kind of on a lockdown, per se, for the coronavirus, but our farm is on a lockdown for the avian flu. I mean, you can come into our farm. Well, I mean, you can leave our farm. It's like the Hotel California in reverse. <laughs> you can't come in, but you can leave, but you can't come in. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Hotel California in reverse. Kind of cracked myself up there. <laughs> anyway, our, our biosecurity is we are in heightened awareness and alert. Our farm is on lockdown. Only if you work on our farm can you come in. So, um, I mean, even into the parking lot because the avian flu has been uh, spotted. If avian flu touches your farm and you have it, it the whole flock will be put down because it is that contagious and that detrimental. It is bad stuff. So, we want to keep ourselves away from the avian flu. So, it's weird that we're fighting or trying to stay healthy with this coronavirus, but we're also keeping our chickens healthy. They haven't arrived yet, but we, we're the protocol is out now. Nobody is on our farm at all, except our family and Trevor that works for us. So, anyway, and the feed truck drivers. Um, they are allowed them. Um, but no, I don't guess he was at our farm. I thought he might have been, but we don't have feed yet. Anyway, so I've been to pick up supplies for setting up the houses. And um, I had to oh, I took my seatbelt off. It's going to start beeping. Um, I had to go pick up feed trays for the baby chicks. We put those down and um, feed for a little bit. Um, threw those in pans. So I had to go pick up the extra pans and um, So I'm back with those but I gotta go to We have an office in house four and I gotta go pick up my gloves. I Need to go buy some new gloves We have the blue disposable gloves but I don't like those. I like um, I like kind of the rubber filmed covered ones. And so, anyway, we're setting up houses. I'll um, meet you guys over at house one in just a little bit. Here are the chick um, feed pans that I just went to um, pick up. Um, trays. And um, so the plastic things, these things right here, what I just went and picked up and what we're putting down now. This right here is a chick mate spout. And the feed will come out of that. It comes into the feed trays, the red pans, as well as it'll come out of the spout. Hey guys. 
guys and welcome to the farm and pastor's wife okay so we got all the chicken houses mostly set up we still have the drinker lines to lower and a little bit more paper to put out um, but I think the boys are gonna do that on Monday so and I'm glad that that's all we did today. We put the feeders down, the chick mates down, the paper under the feeder. We put the pans under the chick mates, um, put the hoppers on the feeders. And I guess that's it. But anyway, I'm tired. My body don't handle, <laughs> handle it as good as it used to. Um, so... There's a lot that happens on the farm. You know, I said the farm doesn't shut down because of Corona. We've got to keep working. And it's such a beautiful day here in North Carolina. I've got my windows open. The only thing with that is my husband just drove by <laughs> my kitchen window. Not like close to my kitchen window, but out in the field with the chicken's litter spreader truck. He didn't spread it back here, but he drove by. Yeah, I may have to shut the windows in a little bit, especially when I start cooking. Anyway, so several of you have asked me, do I cook big meals every night? <laughs> no, I <laughs> don't. I don't. We do eat out quite a bit, but right now we can't eat out because of everything shut down here uh, because of the coronavirus so we're eating at home but I'm tired I don't feel like cooking a big supper so I'm gonna break out an oldie but goodie it's almost humorous it is such a pitiful meal there's nothing homemade I'm opening cans and um, oh, let me stick my, I did make brownies. I had to do something. Let me stick them in here. Okay, so my supper tonight is just, it's pitiful. Let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take weenies, hot dog weenies, slice them in half. Put them on a baking sheet. We're going to bake them in the oven, and I like them till they just get plum black. I like them that way, so don't think, oh, no, she burned them. No, I didn't burn them. That's the way I like them. Um, I'm going to open a couple of cans of peas, and that was all that was left in the grocery store. I don't know if I have any big cans up there, but I, I did get two of these little small cans at the grocery store. Yeah, they were out of everything. It was pretty sad. Um, so I'm gonna fix those. And I'm gonna fix, where did it go? Two packages, and I love this stuff. This is cheddar, broccoli, rice, and it's got little big pieces of pasta in with it. So that's what we're having for supper and I'm going to fix crescent rolls. I'm not even making homemade bread. So those of you who say, I wish I could fix homemade food like her every night. Well, it doesn't happen here every night. It happens a lot, but not every night. So we're just doing an easy peasy meal and I'm just going to let y'all watch and let y'all be humored. <laughs> so anyway, come join me as we cook this pitiful supper. So while we're waiting for the brownies to bake, I wanted you guys to look at what I'm thinking about getting Bryant for Father's Day. We went over to some friend's house not long ago and had a wonderful meal and we used this at their house. And if you have it, I want you to leave me a comment below and tell me what you think of it and how you like it, how hard it is to care for. Um, unfortunately, Bryant and I um, when we're done grilling or whatever, <laughs> there's not much care given to a grill. So, um, I need y'all to tell me 
how easy it is to care for and what you think of it. But take a look at it when we went to visit um, a friend's house. Take a look at what we were cooking on. You put this on look what we're doing, y'all. Well, not we're. I'm just videoing. Put on the farm your Japanese. Look, I mean, it looks like, like she's even got the technique down. Yeah, look, she's got skills. She's got skills. Me and Navy do after yep. I got it off story. <laughs> oh, well. Show you how to do it. Over there's the zucchini and onion. And you need your sous chef, sous chef to open something, right? Yeah, salt and pepper. That would be you, Jamie. He thought he was Is this new? Yeah. Okay. So that was my friend, Chastity and Jamie Elliott. And that food was the best. I mean, it tasted just like a Japanese steakhouse. It was delicious. So that had me wanting one even more. But I really do want to know what you guys think. Is it easy to take care of? Is it easy to clean? Is it easy to use? Um, is it easy to store? Um, all these are questions I have going through my little brain. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking about getting that for him for Father's Day. Um, but I feel like I may be a little bit more excited. But before I go spend, I want to know what you guys think. So fill me in in the comments down below. Okay guys, so we're gonna get started. I've just um, got a paper plate out. Uh, I've got my pizza pan. The only reason I'm using my pizza pan is because we used it last night and it was out, it was handy. And I didn't wash it last night, so all I did was we heated up a pizza from Papa John's on it, so. And I'm just gonna get out, and I'm gonna do all of them, because Caroline and Jamie and Judah are coming. Y'all, I'm telling you, this is the most pitiful supper you've ever seen, but it's one I really like. It's not so pitiful, I don't like it. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little paring knife here, or any knife that you have that works. going to slice it down, tear it apart, and we're just going to line them up. This will probably be the same pan I do the crescent rolls on. <laughs> Y'all, this supper cracks me up. The brownies. I said a while ago that I had to do something and I made the brownies. Uh, first, let me just tell you, I did not make my brownies from scratch. Y'all, and let me just tell you, <laughs> brownies is one of those things. For those of you who make homemade brownies, I'm so proud of you, and I'm glad, but I do not like homemade brownies. I like box brownies better than anything, so that's something you probably will not see me ever make unless some miracle happens and I come across one that's just a recipe that's absolutely amazing, but the chances of me coming across a recipe that's absolutely amazing is slim to none because if it says brownies on it, Chances are I'm not going to make it. Now, yes, these are the little red weenies. If you are um, opposed to that, this is what I grew up on. This is also what Bryant grew up on was the little... I grew up on Jesse Jones uh, weenies. Um, these are uh, Bright Leaf. My son loves Bright Leaf. We like Bright Leaf. I used to use Valleydale. But, um, so I'm just waiting for my brownies to get done. <laughs> this is the one I sliced open when I cut open the package. One more. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. So, I may make some tuna salad. Um, not, maybe not, I mean, I guess it could be an option for supper. Um, and I don't have a lot of stuff to go in my tuna salad, so we're just gonna make it with what I do have. Alright, this is just gonna sit here and wait for the brownies to come out. While we're waiting, I've got my K2 
cans of peas open. Oh, look at that little green one. I mean, they're all green, but that one's especially green. <laughs> That's kind of cute. All right. Let me get some butter. Get a paper towel and wipe my knife off. There we go. So, what is your grocery store out of? I know I'm asking a lot of questions in this video. Um, what are your stores out of? All right, I'll put a little pepper in this and we'll get it on a little bit later. Oh, and let me tell you, the I thought I had I picked up the wrong thing at the store, but that's okay. I'm going to give this a try, and I think we'll love it. Um, I thought this was the rice that has the little bitty pieces of pasta in it, but this is pasta. So, we're going to give this a try. I thought the directions were different, and I thought, but it's been a while since I've made it. So, I thought, okay, I just don't remember. But... I got the wrong thing. So what are they out of at your grocery stores? <laughs> um, I couldn't find any hamburger. Um, and I'm out of our cow's hamburger, so I needed some hamburger. Um, and I keep thinking of things I need. Um, so anyway, they, all cleaning supplies. Thank the Lord I got toilet paper. To what is it with the toilet paper? Thank goodness I got toilet paper before this whole thing started. And um, we hadn't even opened it yet. So um, I was at Sam's, so I thought, oh, I might as well get it while I can. And I did. And it's a good thing I did. So, so anyway, well, when the brownies come out, we'll put these in. Okay. So, I just put the weenies in, the brownies are out, the peas are on, a, on medium, and so let me tell you what we're doing with this pasta. This is Nor. They're also the company I buy the bouillon from, but um, I, they have a pasta, and that's what I thought I was getting, but I'm kind of excited to try this. Um, in here, I have three cups of water. Cause I'm doing two packs, so I'm, I'm doubled everything. All right, I've got three cups of water, and I'm going in with a cup of milk. There we go. Put this aside. And I'm going in with a couple of tablespoons of butter. And we're going to get this over here and get it come to a boil. Y'all, and we are going to have, we are fixing to have a very delicious, pitiful supper. I need to get my crescent rolls out. And on a tray. I was going to use the same one, but I don't know. Let me see what I'm going to do. Okay, guys, my milk and water has come to a boil, and I need to lift it up. <laughs> Turn it down just a little bit. And the package says. Pour everything in and let it boil gently for 10 minutes. So we're going to do what it says. If I can get it open. So tell me, I want to know, I'm struggling getting this thing open here. I want to know what your churches are doing amongst all this uh, you know, a lot of churches have closed down. So, is your church closing? Is it um, 
what's your church doing? That's what, that's kind of where we're at. Uh, we're trying to decide what to do. And it's so hard. Pray for your pastors, y'all. They're making this decision, and somebody's not going to be happy either way. And they have to make the decision based on what they feel is right. So, y'all pray for your pastors. This is, this is not easy. Not easy at all. Alright, we're going to bring this back up to a bowl, and we're going to let it boil for about 10 minutes. I'm going to check the hot dogs. Oh yeah, they curl up, they puff up, they get fat, and they curl up, and then they, they'll turn dark. And remember, I like mine dark, so when it comes out, oh, that's hot. When it comes out of the oven, please do not think I have burnt mine. It just happens to be the way I like them. All right, got that on a slow boil. Gonna clean up. I got my crescent rolls out here ready to go in. So I'm interested in hearing what you guys have to say. Tell me how you're working through things. How are you practicing social distancing? Um, how are you getting groceries? Um, what were your grocery stores out of that you needed? Um, so Let's kind of have a little dialogue on this YouTube um, video. Let me know what you guys are doing and what you guys are practicing and, and so forth. Let's, I'm interested. Okay, guys. Here are the hot dogs that I baked up. Um, I did put a, about four <laughs> back in there to get darker because I probably like them darker than the rest of the family too. So, um, they're back in there. The pasta's cooking up. The peas are just about done. And I have no family here. I don't know where they're at. We're about ready to eat. So, let me call them and we'll figure out where they are. Maybe they're practicing strict social distancing. Okay guys, here is my plate, my peas, the pasta stuff we did. Let me taste that. I'm, I'm anxious to see if it's good. Pretty good. My crescent roll and my baked weenie. Y'all, I know it's pitiful, but it's good. It's a coronavirus special. Yep, cor coronavirus special. That's what you do when they don't have toilet paper at the store. <laughs> you make do. <laughs> What's toilet paper got to do with that? <laughs> that's that's, that's all what we happens do. when you don't have hamburger at the store. Yep. But, no, this is actually what you do when you're tired and you don't feel like doing a whole lot. Tired? What do you do all day? Shut up chicken houses. Oh, goodness. Here we go. He's getting in the brownies. Shh, don't tell nobody. How are they? Perfecto. Out of a box. Y'all have a good day. Thank you for watching the Farm and Pastor's Wife, even if it was this pitiful meal and a little farm day. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. anything. Bye, y'all.